You don't have to tell them, but you can have somebody from the town call them and chat with them if they're willing to chat and say, well, yes, well, we had one of these situations six months ago. And when the court, when they, after they got the letter from the court, they decided to do it. Um, you really want to think about that. Right. One of the problems was this gentleman was unreachable. He refused yeah, that, that's, that can be a problem. Yes. to call us. He refused right. to yeah, yeah, accept yeah. the letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had no, we went to his house and knocked on his door. We did try to reach out to him yeah. prior to getting... Yeah. Um, well, but your, your objective your would be on uh, a first offense like that, and you would write him a letter and give him a warning. Right, which is what we tried to do. And the reason we hung on to it was it was smoke detectors, and yeah. that's a real, that's a, that's a sincere yeah. Yeah. issue. Yeah. 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 You know, and, and I did not want to let that go and have the liability rest on the town because here is a uh, housing inspection yeah. right. that has a violation, and yeah. we didn't pursue it and get it fixed. So, yeah. I mean, it's your responsibility, kind of and you didn't know. One way or the other. But no, if I have this one criminal disposition, then I would have a way to keep it in the town for a long period of time. I'd just like to also say, Wendy did a fantastic job on this. I mean, she kept me posted throughout the process. You know, should I send these emails to KP? Because we incur costs. And yeah. we said, yep, that's the only choice we have at this point. And, um, you know, subsequently when we debriefed on it, like we always should when we have a situation where it doesn't feel right, you know, we have this potential, we did spend a little bit of money. What can we do better? And that's that's the genesis, like when you right. explained it while we're here today. And if, if there isn't an appetite, that's fine. But you know, we always talk. We always want to see if there's ways we can be better, um, more efficient from our operation standpoint, but also from a financial standpoint. Hearing what you said, I would love to have some input from Martha Morrison, and maybe if I could take an opportunity to contact her either tomorrow or the beginning of next week, yeah. and and see if she recalls some of the board of health sure. meetings that she was at. Sure. Um, Why don't you check on it? The, I'm thinking of several things. One, um, in a city of some size where these kinds of things might be weekly rather than every few years, um, mechanisms to handle this and, and make the paperwork move more quickly and make it uh, administratively easier and less expensive, absolutely. Um, this is kind of an awkward one-off. And so the urgency, this is not a problem that we're constantly trying to have to solve. I, I think that our, we had a little bit of concern with that, I think. Uh, I think we were concerned about being a little too heavy handed with citizens. To. And I do not like that. I'm somebody who will, I get a trash complaint, I give the person a call. Um, you know, if I don't have a phone number for them, I send them a friendly letter. Hey, did you know you can't have this on the side of the road, you gotta pick it up. And that works very well for 95%. Yeah. It, it's the 5% who are uh, not reachable, unwilling to cooperate, um, and it's and we did. I got here, I got the complaint in August. It wasn't filed until um, after the fair, so October. So in that entire time, I, I had one phone call where he yelled at me and then said he hung up and, and continued to yell at me. So what would we do? You would you would change your letter to somebody that has a violation by saying, so here's a warning. So I would start with a letter. Yeah. I would start with that friendly phone call trying to reach out okay. to them. Yeah. However, that yeah. happens. Yeah. No response. Yeah. I mean, really no response. Then, okay, here's here's a warning, and we'll make it official with a letterhead. And, and in that letter, you would say that you would say that you give a list of the fines and how yes. that would... Progress. Yes, and, and make all kinds of citations and references yeah. to state and local. Preserving the ability to file a criminal complaint yes. should go that far. That's right, but, but I wouldn't file that criminal complaint until I had a significant amount of, you know, local paperwork generated yeah. And, yeah. and a fine so that I could say to the judge, well, we're looking to, you know, have this person fix it and to pay the fines that he's accumulated. Or that person. We had an incident in Beverly that was a number of years that spanned that was similar in our engineering department where someone had moved dirt around the yard, caused some um, runoff issues for the neighbor, and buried a tree. So just half the tree was sticking up out of the ground. <laughs> it was really an interesting situation. Um, tried to work with them, same, very similar situation where the, 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 the person who was, uh, we sent um, letters. A lot of man, uh, man, woman power trying to connect with them, um, basically saying, yeah, 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 I'll take care of it. Never made any any real effort to do it. Continued to do some of the removing the, the dirt and without getting proper permits. And finally, um, we 
made the decision to start fining because the engineering department did have the authority to do so. He accumulated enough fines where he finally called us and said, I can't pay these fines. What do I have to do? And I said, do what we asked you to do, you know, 12 months ago. Um, and then, again, he refused to do anything, and then we ended up having to do a criminal. Mm -hmm. So even with the fines, you might end up at the end of the day going to the criminal. And with the well, criminal, it may not always work, Right. you're having a fine. Right. Well, fine. this switch actually does this pattern, and they have a mm -hmm. non-criminal disposition, and they go through that process. Mm -hmm. So, they, But they do end up in court. We ended up waiving half the fines, by the way, too. Yeah. So when we go to the court, we settled by yeah. waiving the fines. Sure. He, he had X amount of time to make the, through the court. That was part of the But it gives you leverage, number one, and number two, to the extent where it may happen sometimes. If you do collect the fines, it covers some of the time and the tension and energy that it does take to follow up on these things. These are not the normal course of business in town, or should not be. No, and, and we, I would not expect that. And again, I want to say, I know I and my board have no desire to be heavy-handed. We'd much rather make that phone call, send that friendly letter. Yeah. Um, it, you know. You'd just like to assert, insert a process between the, let's see if we can yes. get them to work with us, and the next step is court. Yes, and, and it is a much gentler way to do this. Yeah, that, that makes more mm -hmm. sense, put it in that context. Based upon the people not passing it twice, Dick, does this sound like something that would pass with people? What were their primary concerns? Because it sounds like Wendy and her board the, are very the approach, thoughtful. The, and the, approach, approach. the approach in Helpsfield is to determine, yep, tobacco is a problem. Yep, we will pass this with the tobacco and include the following fines with it. Very clear what it is, what you're doing, and why they're doing it, and they agree to it. Remember that non-criminal disposition says you are guilty until you prove yourself innocent. Um, the bureaucrat says you're guilty. You have to prove that you're not if you're not going to get fined. That's what it says in many ways. Do you know that I? Do you know that I am not this year, but most winters. Am subject to about three thousand dollars worth of fines from the town of Topsfield. For what? Half my street, as a matter of fact. For what? What? Well, we have a bylaw that has non-criminal disposition for depositing snow on a sidewalk in the town of Topsfield. And every year, I blow snow, and a lot of it goes on the sidewalk. The town does not, by the way, plow the sidewalks in my neighborhood. Nor does anybody in my neighborhood do the sidewalks. <clears throat> but we have a law to that effect. And I am subject to that kind of fine because it's every day. And once the snow falls and it's there for a while, it really it's pretty hard to get rid of. I'm going to call the frozen. authorities then. Right? So, I'm going to call the authorities. I bet you will. So, yeah, but so, I so, only so, told you because there's, <laughs> there's no snow. So, <laughs> so, 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 so the, the point is, the point is you need to be very careful with the non criminal dispositions. It's not the mode of the town of Topsfield, and granted, Wendy does not want to be heavy-handed, but we don't know who will be well, here. Well, we don't know who so, no, no, I want to hear. I want to hear Wendy's. So, so I just want to take that example and 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 draw it out. So, so you have a lovely group move in. Um, maybe you know a senior citizen. He and his wife have come. She's in a wheelchair, and she wants to go walking on the sidewalk. You know, and they push her along. So, but people have been snowblowing. So the option for the town, instead of being heavy-handed, you know, would be to go and remind, read them. Remind them. But then they would have a method to just send a warning. Everybody gets a, gets a letter and say, please remove the snow. Here's your warning. Here it is. Just so you're aware, there's a fine schedule that can go on. And it's not, I, and I believe that the <clears throat> town of Topsfield and the people on the boards and the people who are responsible for enforcing the regulations um, especially if you make sure that, because um, one of the things you have to do with non-criminal disposition is each regulation has to have a, a fee schedule, a finding schedule adopted with it, you would make sure that the first one is warning. Mm -hmm. and, and you could do that over um, mm -hmm. for all of them. Mm -hmm. But you do have that regulation in place for a reason. I'm not sure why you voted on the snow regulation, but you'd be able to, you'd be able to take, it, take, take care of it and address it. I think it's there better. Are lots of people in the town of Topsfield that would brandish their spears right down to the town hall that wants to find them. I can assure you 
<laughs> I am not right. the only it one. Mean My that street you're isn't the only one. No. It is not done in the town of Topsville. But Dick, if a complaint was made, in this case it was a public safety complaint, and you could argue that, you know, the sidewalk example and so on. If a complaint is made, the town has the choice to change the bylaw and so on. But if it goes from, would you please, would you please, would you please, would you please, we're taking you to court, I think that is a much steeper wall to hit and much less kind than sort of putting a little bit of a reminder and so on. I no, this is, there's not a law that I have to do my sidewalk. We don't shovel our sidewalks. There's not. No. I thought not you said there was a bylaw. Excuse me? I thought you said there was a bylaw saying you had to shovel your sidewalks. No, 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 you didn't listen to me. You can't put it on public. I'm not saying it on yourself. No. He, he, oh, I get well, it. He can't the deposit side. it on the side. Wow. Oh, how interesting. interesting. Or in the street. So it's a regulation. It's very easy to misinterpret. So that was a little sloppy. So I really have to then, because I can see. I will submit to you that there was. Less than a five percent chance that sending fines of twenty-five dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever, was going to get that owner to move. You could not contact that owner. It required the force of legal threat to get him to respond. At which point he responded. Well, we did see that our sign bylaw violation schedule was effective. Is different. The difference is, it's to a business. And a business says, if they don't like it, I'm going to have to pay, or I'm going to be out of business. And by the way, business is how I keep my, my food on the table. It's the same fine so that it's, 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 it's really yeah. not It's really not It's really not the yeah, same. I don't, I don't you're see dealing it. with a business. This is a business, too. But if you're it's an ambulance, that's a business. It's a business. This is a business. It can be a business. Yes, it could, it could very well be a business. Um, listen, what I would like to do right now, because I'm concerned uh, we have a... Uh, Thank you, Wendy. Wendy, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Wendy. Um, thank you, I appreciate the thank explanation. You. Let's think about this some. Um, my bias, but let's bring this up again, um, is that uh, let the town decide. They can knock it down again, and if they so choose, so be the will of the people. But I'm not necessarily against doing it. I could be convicted. I could be convinced to one, do that as well. One of the things we have done, I think, less than ideally, and uh, Kevin, I'm going to put this on you a little bit. I think we need to include clearer explanations for the rationale um, on a lot of articles. Oftentimes, what happens is we get the FinCom. Uh, you know, presents the article and their recommendation. Mm -hmm. They're not experts on it. And one of the things that um, I do want to talk with you about is how we can put a little more explanation about some of these things. So the way, that, the way he does things, I'm sure he's going to have a lot of description on it. Right? Well, we should, but the mechanism for doing it in ATM, people come to ATM and that's all they see. And oftentimes you get your explanation on those little sheets of flyers as you walk in the door. But people vote on things they don't really understand based upon the FinCom's recommendation. And I think some things we deserve to have more rec more background on. Um, you know, John, that's my you, thinking. You know that every article has an explanation section, right? There's three sections. Needs to be done carefully. One, yep. The, the uh, recommendation by the FinCom yep. and the explanation. I know, that's I don't always feel those are completely adequate, but let's... But yes, so, so let's write them better. Yeah, well, we'll we can write them better. The, the mechanism is there. Okay, okay. I'll, if I'll the discussion that, yeah. continues on town meeting floor, any one of us can get up and address the issue. I opened a rat's nest, I'd like to close no. it because we need to move on right here. Um, I want to look at the agenda right here. First, on this one, which is uh, technically we're still on the, um, the town meeting warrant review, um, so, I think we need to have more conversation on uh, the first one. Um, there was some question about that. I think I know you in particular were concerned about what's going that going to look like on top of the other things we have much less control over. I want to talk about rationale for the um, commissioners. Um, select board, we sound of agreed. That's in there. That's good. Town administrator, adopter, adoption, housekeeping. Um, Kevin, just a little bit more clarity. I understand. I need to see the language. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I'd like a rationale on that. So we'll come back to that. Solar development pilot. Are we sort of agreed? We just go on that. There's no 
Yeah, I think so. That's the time to do it. That's when we get some money up. I think so. Rescind debt for Beth, that one is definitely a go. Um, um, that, that, that one's all set. Um, address standardization. It's not set we want to make sure we know what's in there. there we got to know what it's in there. But yeah. once yeah. we know what's in there, we're not disagreeing yeah. that it's worth putting on there. The address standardization, we want to get some more information, which is really a cost and extent. Um, did we? Is that what we said for that one? I think that was a go. I think that's that a go. Was a go. I have a language. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, uh, I think that's a go. <clears throat> okay. And I can share more detail. No, that's great. I prepare it. So I'm going to call that a go. I realize some of these may need more explanation for clarification, but um, I think we're good on that. So um, adoption of the veteran exception, um, I think it's a go. People can vote. Um, I'm I guess. just going to clarify. I think, well, I think some clarification is necessary. At some point, necessary. we're going to vote individually on absolutely. each one of these yeah. and absolutely. give it a warrant. Yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to get clear what our list yeah. is. Yeah. 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 And this is as much to be clear which ones yeah. are going to be a whether or not and which ones are. We need more explanation. Yeah. Um, community septic management program, that we think is a go, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, Non-criminal enforcement, we've all kind of agreed on that one piece. On, that on the separate one, I think though, we do want to be able to answer the question, of, does, how much does this cost the town to do it? That's going to be something that we should be yep. able to yeah, answer. We, we talked about it being the treasurer and yep. the accountant. And, and you're going to pay the interest on the loan. Hours and if you what, take money out of that $200,000 fund, to, you're going to, to pay be able, able to explain so. that. Right. Yep. So, so I have an org chart that basically explains and okay. I, I, I yeah. tried. It's been too we don't have to do it right I didn't now. want to get too much in the weeds at this point. No, yeah. I think the fact that it is money that the town doesn't have to put out itself, mm -hmm. other than some administrative oversight, but you potentially know what? That's as a help the creep to those that we are talking about, the administrative <laughs> creep, that with every new service that we provide, there's a little bit more. And this year we're starting to see it. We've got a couple of hours here, there. We've got like four departments we're asking for more hours because of the things that they're doing. If, so as we add to the plate, that adds to the hours. So. And I'd like to point out that we don't even have to touch this if we approve it, if everything's copacetic. It's only that situation if somebody says, we say, you need to fix this, and they say, I can't because I can't afford it. This is a mechanism that is not town money that allows them to go and yeah, do it. Yeah, but this isn't just us saying, you have to do this. This is people coming to us saying, it failed, I don't have money, can I borrow from you? And there could be And we can charge, 10, them, we can charge them extra percent. I, we could. I, I think just understanding what's involved. Well, I think it's understanding, but I think because of the administrative creep that just naturally. A version of this, I think, is going to go on the article on the warrant. Do you think? It's, Conceptually, I think a version it should. should. There. We may want to talk about more detail and so on. Um, the uh, criminal enforcement, uh, the and so on and so forth. We've pretty much agreed on it. It's going to go in some form. There's a little tuning, right? Um, exotic, I, I think so. Um, exotic animals, by law, ditto on that one. Yeah. Um, I think we're in agreement that we will have something on there. Ground mount of solar photic, uh, photovoltaic installations will probably go on that. We need clarification, look at it and see and so on. But basically that's a call of the planning board. That's a planning board. board. Yeah, we, 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 well, planning we could still, we could, we, we could reject it, but I we'll probably can imagine too. that we would. Yeah. The only point is if they make a change to it and say, yeah, we decided we can't do that in time or there's too much... Uh, it it uh, doesn't affect anyone's ability to get so, have solar here in top field or our ability right. to prevent it yeah. or accept That's it. Right. It's just a technical adjustment That's right. to the process. That's right. Time. Yep. Okay. Um, if and the planning order wants to pull it, they can. Yeah. yeah. The medical marijuana one is coming off anyway, not necessary. Sign regulations? Um, right. Sign regulation. Oh, sorry. Sign regulations. That's okay. It's placed. Well, that's okay. Yeah. And again, a little more detail and clarity, and then the abandoned pump and so on seems to be worthwhile. I think that's a safety issue. And well, I'm, I'm not sure. I think Kevin's looking at that because he thinks we might be able to do it in house. We're still going to need some money in house. Whether we need I'm going to put a check mark there because you've got to. I have more guys to do. Working hard on okay. it. I just need to get that. Collection. I'd like to leave the placeholder on the name of something's going to happen. If you say yeah. we're withdrawing yeah. this or I'll sex it out. Even if it appeared, it could be presented by the FinCom as other funds have been found to do this in-house. We would we'd like to remove this. We can do it even after publication, if necessary. But putting something there. Okay. I just want to be clear on that. So there's some things that we need to continue talking about. 
we'll work on a time to get together and do that. And I'm going to just flag this. This is emails that had been taking place today, so I didn't add it to this list because I didn't have enough backup, but I was just going to put it out there. There was a five-year contract in 2006 that was signed with the schools for buses. We looked back, a very quick look to see if we had any of the existing language that allowed for the five-year contract because after three years, um, you need to get approval for a contract of that mm -hmm. length. Um, at this point, we haven't found it. Middleton did a search as well because it's the union, mm -hmm. and they did not find it in their warrant either. So five years looks like it's coming up, and that's why they're asking the question because they just want to continue what was already adopted. If we haven't, in fact, adopted that for that five-year contract that was done, um, then we're going to have to put something in here uh, around that potentially. But this is the first time the schools has ra have raised this, that this might be something we need to consider. So I don't have much backup other than that, but I just wanted to put that on the So that was 2006, okay. and every five years, so that would go to <laughs> five year 2011, and then that would go to 2016, <coughs> and 2021. then 2021. And it's just raised today. Then? Okay. Um, and you negotiated in 2020 to have services beginning in 21. So we're going to make sure if, good, if we don't, it doesn't exist, it will in this world. So you're saying it might show up on You might see list. something yeah. the next time we sit down. <laughs> Is that being negotiated then and potentially new rates in 2021? I did not have time we're to not make there a phone yet. call. It was just a we're simple question. Do you have it? I looked, we did it, and I said, well, if the, I said, are you looking, I emailed back, are you looking to do a new contract? Looking at the map, I said it's likely, and, I, and then I didn't hear back from Next me. time, we'll talk about that. You open the can of worms. And close that up. It yeah. looks to me like yeah. we're going to um, skip the economic development. We are not. I, That's quick. That's now, quick. what I want to do is I want to talk with Kevin about the charge. Skip it again. I want to talk about the charge because um, we hadn't had a chance to do that. Yeah. Um, You're going to read it? I, I, can, I can John, if you want, I can just <laughs> real quick. I have, okay, John, I've been working on it. Um, we're selecting uh, work around uh, economic and community development committee. Um, it's something that um, would be uh, a new board of commission that's around just that. The details are in here. If the chair is, thinks it's appropriate, I know we've gone back and forth with some drafts. Because uh, they're online, you can see them. I would like to. <coughs> oh, it's in board docs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I haven't yeah. checked. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to. I'd like to defer and <coughs> talk about this more. I think this is fine. I have a couple minor questions of the way it's put together here. Sure. Um, there's a specification for seven members, and list it could be. It would be nine. Um, yeah, I had that too. That we had said might be, seven. Might be um, a minimum seven. Uh, maximum nine or something Did we like want that. to go up? Is there a reason why we're putting it at nine? We might end or sometime in the future have good people we want to bring on without getting rid of somebody. It gives the ability to add but does not require. And number under A123 that indicates there are certain constituencies that will be part of that seven. Um, I thought the, the wording just a slight redundancy in the middle a little <coughs> bit. I would merge those sentences. Uh, there are two sentences here that say, let's see, the mission is to enhance the town's economic infrastructure by facilitating blah, blah, blah. And then the next one says the committee shall advise them on strategic planning. And then in order to ensure the economic development goals are achieved, the EDC will advise. So those two advising statements could be combined. Because you have a whole sentence there. And then another one, in order to ensure they will advise. So it's like, well, the whole thing is to ensure economic development goals are achieved. So they shall advise on implementation of strategic planning, development implementation of specific economic development programs, support development. You know, it's Liz, just... Can it's, I offer a thought? It's broken up. Could you just kind of push those together? I know Kevin's been looking at these a long time. And sure. And you get sometimes a little zingy zingy with about the stuff. Yep. If you would do that, put that out to all of us to look at. No sure. action, just so to say, next time we get together, we'll rubber stamp it. Is this, now we had said that we were going to appoint these people on Monday night's meeting. Yes. Is that pushed we, out again? Because today's Thursday. I, I think what we would do is, if you could send it out and with a request, just Lynn's version say, um, with a request that, um, and also the list of who, um, Kevin, um, and if there's disagreement on the charter, then we may have to pull it. But if we, if nobody contacts one on one, not a reply at all, saying I have a question, then we could go forward and begin by approving the it, charter. Just from a conceptual point of view, because literally I'm just merging sentences, so it's not redundant. I'm not changing the content at all. 
Does anyone have any um, concerns or disagreements? I would put addition? minimum seven, <coughs> uh, maximum nine members. Okay. Is there any timing in here? How long are these people appointed for? Um, oh, one year. Um, I might have taken uh, annually. Four members of the community appointed annually. Mm -hmm. And they can be reappointed. No big book to them, mm -hmm. so on and so okay, forth. Okay, so that would be something um, we'll add. In the the, the one thing I was going to, you know, and and that'll be an official committee that keeps minutes and posts the meetings and all yeah, that the, stuff. If the meetings will be public. Mm -hmm. That probably needs to be in here as an understanding. The other thing is that I would like to have it um, be a, basically, again, I'm not trying to accrue power, but um, a selectman's committee that reports back regularly to the selectman, the board. Because um, we're committed, we're the elected body, we're appointing these people. If what they do comes to us, you don't like what we are encouraging them to do, then you vote us out. You don't have direct hand. Yeah, it doesn't appointments. mention here how often they get together or that report regularly back to the board. What does that actually entail? Because the people, the, the four folks that we identified in addition to John, myself, and Kevin, probably want to know that kind of a commitment too. So is this a group that gets together monthly? Are we doing this too soon? Do we need to go one more meeting and just get this cleaned up? I did not put it on the agenda for Monday to be at this point. Then, then, let's then we have to call them then. Call all people. Then you and I will take care of it. Are they anticipating being at this Monday? Yes. yes. But we will we'll make adjustments. I mean, so we can fine tune right. this. If they're fine with not knowing the exact time frame, we don't have to specify in the charter how often they meet. No, as long as they understand what's involved, um, this is the guide their efforts. It, it right. makes, it, I think there's something we said too about having a little bit of flexibility within it, so it's not as prescriptive. Because if yeah. there's, well, we, this is the wording and edited version of what Beverly did. This is their kind of, what they had. It worked very well, and they met sometimes, maybe a couple times a month. If there were certain things like a tip that was coming up that they wanted to review with them, sometimes they might have gone a couple months. They might have taken a couple months of the summer off. If you couldn't get enough people to it. It really was a, uh, a flexible tool. It didn't prescribe exactly how often. Yeah. How many people have you already talked to them? Um, we have the four lined up that we thought would be good folks. From the community. From the community. Heidi Fox, Sarah Guido, who's also the president of the nonprofit that's yeah. supporting the downtown, yeah. um, Zilly Bouju, yeah. and Josh Brown. Okay. So it would be seven. Okay. Um, we didn't want to make it too big so that it's difficult to So you to got schedule. those four. All four. And on three board. more of what? John, me, Kevin. Okay. Yeah. And the, the goal of this is this board doesn't take action without the select board. They're advising. They're advising. advising. So everything comes back up to us. Um, I'm concerned about time, Kevin. Um, can we put off the minutes to another time and can well, we can put we off Town Beach? Wrap up on this. Um, so are we not doing it on the 24th? We've I want to rewrite this. Um, I don't, don't mind doing, it up, I don't mind turning it around and putting it out to everybody and saying if this is okay, we can approve it on Monday. Okay. But I, I, I think it should be a charter. I think the, the mission should come at the beginning. Just minor stuff. Content's great. I want to reorganize it. That's fine. We have the big meeting, the big readout to the whole community on March 25th, which is coming up yeah. right around the corner. And we want to get these guys appointed. So let's do it Monday. I'll, we I'll can do it the night as well. We have another meeting on the 9th, so if you want a little more time to fine-tune it, we could do the appointments on the 9th. That would still be this time to meet with the group after they're appointed and have some discussion so that they could participate in this meeting. I guess the question is, is the board, those of us here, are we okay basically entrusting myself and Lynn with some support of Kevin to take this content, maybe a little bit of um, yes. uh, format change, yes. no change in intent or overall scope, do that, get it ready, and present it as what we will we'll share it in advance as part of board docs, but um, it will be um, available to, for us to vote on the charter and then vote the members in. That makes sense? Uh, I, I, uh, that that's, um, second sentence in B, I mean, the mission is to enhance the town by facilitating uh, investments that build capacity, create jobs. So, their, their let's, charter let's take this is to, to the facilitate ninth. investments. Dick, I'm going to suggest we hold this off. It's not going to happen right now. I'm concerned 
Kevin has an op and um, uh, got a, a meeting. capital meeting that began five minutes ago. This is the yeah, puzzle on the port. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, don't want to. Yeah, let's move it to the ninth. We'll call folks. Yeah. We'll yeah. Move it to yeah. the ninth. We'll move it to the ninth. If we're going to have a conversation, we'll have a conversation. And we're okay putting off the Town Beach Association? That's actually something we went to contract with. That we just, it's a technical motion and approval. Yeah. We can do that very quickly. Okay. Yeah, we, May I have a motion? Yeah, we had one last time. I made a motion, and boy, do it. We know all about it. it. Yeah. So, so we're gonna, who's going to make the motion? Um, let us, yeah, let's just make the motion right now. Again. Okay. Uh, let's see this Okay, motion to approve the purchase of a floating walkway from FWM Docks and Easy Dock out of Hudson, New Hampshire, to be located at Hood Pond in Tosfield, Mass, with funds awarded by a DCR grant. Do we have a second? Second. second. We have a second. Um, Any uh, discussion? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Passes you unanimously. Know. Would you convey that, to, please, to, <clears throat> to Debbie? And uh, we're going to hold off for a minute. Do you have a motion to adjourn? Motion adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Meeting. Uh, <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. So, Aye. So, so we, we are going to um, uh, 